Hello and welcome. I'm excited about how our garden has been growing this past month, but you know who else is excited? Yup, the deer, the rabbits, even the gophers and the chipmunks are also looking for a meal, or even just a snack. We took care of the deer problem with this fencing. Last year we built an elaborate structure using PVC piping. This year we simply banged T posts into the ground and ran deer netting all around. Both strategies worked, the PVC structure and the T-posts, the deer have not been able to get into the garden. They don't even look at the garden as they snack on other things. But we have a new threat this year. For some reason, the rabbit has come back to our neck of the woods. We stopped seeing rabbits about 10 years ago, and we started seeing more predator animals like bear, coyote, and even fox. But recently, the rabbits are back for some reason, and the deer? they never left. So in this video I'll show you three things we're doing to keep the rabbits out of the garden. This also works on deer. Let's start with the simplest method, something you probably have in your closet. Soap. The tallow in the soap is what the deer don't like, and hopefully the other animals that are nosing around the garden don't like it either. Many people suggest Irish Spring soap. Here I have a cheap Irish Spring knockoff and it smells terrible to me. I never understood people using these smelly soaps to shower with, but if it works in the garden, then I'm all for it. I cut off chunks of this soap, wrapped it in cheesecloth, and tied it all around the tea posts that surround the garden. Last week I visited my friend's house to trade books to read, and I was surprised to see her front garden blooming with flowers. She uses Dove, but really, any soap should work as long as it contains tallow. Tallow is the fatty tissue from animals that is used to make soap, candles, and some types of lubricants. Here I have some real Irish Spring, not the knockoff brand, and it also smells terrible, which I guess is a good thing. I'm shaving this bar with a potato peeler instead of hanging it around the garden. Here I have a nice bowl full of it. And then out in the garden, I just toss it around the perimeter. It's not rocket science, but it does seem to work. It's a terrible feeling to wake up on harvest day after patiently waiting 100 days for corn to mature, only to find your entire crop wiped out by hungry deer. I know because it happened to me. We had actually scheduled a barbecue for the next day, and we were going to harvest the corn in the morning so it would be fresh. Somehow the deer knew, and they came for a feast the night before. So just to be sure, I'm tripling my efforts to repel the deer and rabbits. The soap is one method. Another method I've been using is this deer away spray. To use this, you connect the garden hose to the hose end of the sprayer nozzle and the concentrate is automatically mixed with the water from the hose. You can also buy this repellent in a ready to use bottle, not a concentrate. This is good for small areas where you can go around and spray by hand. You need to apply this during a rain-free period of time and then reapply it a week later and then after that about once every month. If you see that the animals are coming back, then spray weekly for three weeks, then once a month after that. This formula is not poison. It contains ingredients that deer and rabbits don't like to smell or taste. Same as the Irish Spring Soap, but different ingredients. Because we are obsessed with not letting the animals get to the garden this year, I bought one more product to round out this trifecta. This is called Critter Ritter, and it has a picture of a deer and that pesky rabbit, both running away. Mr. McGregor would be proud. This package comes with six stations to place around the garden. You're supposed to hang these between four and eight feet apart. I decided to put one on each of my raised garden beds. When you pop open the package, you'll find six U-shaped hoops to use as stakes, and then the repellent, which they call stations. These are called stations, and they contain the repellent. The repellent is dried blood, which is a scent that scares the deer and the rabbit. It's supposed to trigger a flight response, so they run away. There are a variety of ways you can use the stakes to position the stations. You can straighten out the stakes, or you can cut them in half if you want the repellent stations closer to the ground, like I do to chase away the rabbits. You can also twist the stakes and use them to hang the repellent stations around the garden. 
We have a fence around the garden that does a really good job at keeping the deer out. So this is really meant for the rabbits. If you're using this for rabbits, then cut the U-shaped stakes in half. We used a wire cutter and it cuts pretty easily in half. Then insert one end into the station like this. Make sure the stake goes through the station so you can see it at the tip. And then you're done. Of the three methods, I like the soap method the best. It's also the cheapest and conveniently available in any drugstore. You don't have to buy Irish Spring. Just make sure that it has tallow as an ingredient. I hope this helps you find a strategy that works for you and your garden. And I hope the deer and the rabbits stay out of the garden, or we will just have to consult with Mr. McGregor to see how to keep Peter Rabbit out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Bye!